This is Jen, and I am at the Geisha Steak and Sushi House in Plano, Texas. I am here with Mr. Everson Walsh How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. How are you doing, Jen? I am Jen? Doing wonderful. Yeah, Thank you look wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, and so do you. <laughs> now, Mr. Walsh, you know, there's a lot of stuff that we can talk about tonight. We can talk about the fact that you are an all-pro defensive back. Right? Yes, yeah, I'm all pro. That was back in my uh, heyday. Right. Yes. You play for one of the greatest teams ever, the Dallas Cowboys. That's true. Right? That's true. Now, I didn't limit myself to the Cowboys either. Went on to the Giants as well. And, you know, when you want to look at it from a team standpoint, great individual efforts in Dallas. Yes. But I got the team, the ultimate team award in the Super Bowl. Uh, with the New York Jets. Okay, and that's okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because the greatest team is still the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, back, I'm back to being a Cowboy fan, and you are right. right. I still live and die when the cow with the Cowboys. That's Whatever right. they do, that affects my entire week. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and you've also appeared in Sports Illustrated several times, right? Yeah, some good and some bad. Sports Illustrated, it doesn't necessarily mean that you did something positive. Uh, I'm, I'm on there for uh, a play that's not so well in, in Cowboys' mind. Uh, famous play back in 1982 uh, against the San Francisco 49ers. And then you, you fast forward about nine years uh, in Tampa Bay when I was with the Giants. Uh, the Buffalo Bills missed the field goal there. And uh, they caught me celebrating after that win of my only, my only Super Bowl. A lot of people don't realize that. That's my only Super Bowl. Really? Yes. Well, hey, at least it was tough. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's right. And I bet you didn't uh, know, uh, think that I knew this, but your career total was 57 interceptions. Right? Oh, that is impressive. Right? That's very impressive. <laughs> I, I put it on a lot of things that I signed. Because some people like like a lot of stuff with their autograph. So I want to make sure that those that don't remember just how much happened. I used to read in the NFL. Then I make sure they understand about the 57. That's right. 57. 57. 57. <laughs> now, even though you did a lot of wonderful things in the NFL, that's actually not what we're here for today to talk about. We're actually here to talk about something that you did that was just very selfless, uh, beautiful contribution that you made. Not only to someone else, but to society, it can be as an example. And we're also going to talk about your new book that you have out, A Gift for Mom. That's correct. And will you just tell us a little bit about what A Gift for Mom is about? You know, the title is kind of self-explanatory. Uh, it talks about the, my gift to Mom. I donated a kidney to him uh, February 28, 2007. Believe it or not, it's been uh, got over four years. And, uh, you know, a lot of people really can't relate to the fact that you do something like that. And I think the book tries to explain uh, why uh, I have that type of mindset. Uh, it talks about how blessed I've been throughout my entire life. Uh, no matter how much I tried to mess my life up, someone was always there to pull me out of it. And uh, after a while, you kind of start to learn that, you know, you are not what you are uh, by yourself. Uh, there are always influences uh, in your life, and hopefully uh, those positive ones outweigh the negative ones. And in my case, it did. And so when it came time for me to do what I did for Ron, uh, it was easy for me to just kind of look back on all those things that people have helped me out with. Uh, from growing up in Hamilton Park, uh, right here in Dallas, uh, going to Grambling State University, uh, where my teammates really took care of me, uh, uh, being influenced by the great uh, late coach Eddie Robinson at Grambling State University, uh, and you know just the, the rearing that I had between uh, my mom and my dad, and, and uh, serious, serious uh, support base as far as family is concerned. Uh, I have always been blessed to have people around me that are my kin and really have, have always had my best interest. We're here in Plano tonight at the Nation House. Do you have any other plans to do that? Yeah, we 
do, and we, I don't have them finalized yet, so I can't speak on it. But, uh, I've already done a lot of my city, a lot of country house, uh, and uh, I've got a little bit of a club court, and I've got a little bit of a man, Sharon Anderson, as well as Kathy, uh, and they have been working hard to get my book out there, trying to get as many signings as possible going on. Facebook and tweets and all of that, Twitter, whatever you want to call it. I'm old school, so I don't handle that aspect right. of, of uh, the networking. Right. You got to use it. Now, um, I know they're handling it, but are you able to tell us how we can purchase the book? Oh, you can purchase the book in so many different ways. You can go to Amazon.com, uh, you can go to the website, Globe.org. Uh, .org. That, that uh, website is there as, as well. Uh, right now, uh, you can get the book almost anywhere, but only at my book signs can you get it all the way to Now, you said that site is Glow Peacock? That's P E Q. P E Q U O E T. Okay. And it's Glow Peacock. Glow Peacock. Glow Peacock. Peacock. You want to make sure that they can get to the site so they can buy your book. That's right. That's right. But it's, you know, you can also come on my website, everythingwalls.com. Uh, I've got it on my Facebook as well. Oh, oh, you got Facebook. Uh, yeah, I have Facebook, but I must admit I'm not the uh, orchestrator of that. But at least you try. But it is out there on my Facebook as well. Just look up there some walls, and you can play this as well. And for anyone that wasn't able to make it out here tonight, I know you said that um, you quite don't have you don't have schedule, but you know where your next sign is going to be. I do so not know where it's going to be next, but they can also check on my website as well, okay. and they can check on my Facebook. And we will let everyone know what's going on. Okay. Yeah. All right. And before we close out, I'm just wondering if you have maybe you want to share with us one message, just one thing that you really want to know. Wow, to, to just pick out one, that would be, would be very tough. But uh, I guess it's, it's just really all about the foundation that you're you're blessed with. Uh, my uh, mom and my dad, for instance, uh, they, uh, they were married and they ended up getting divorced when I was 12 years old. Uh, that was an opportunity for me, really, uh, to be an idiot. And I look, I took that as an opportunity to be an idiot. But it was because that my dad, even though he left home, he was always there for me. He was always there to pick me up from practice. He was always there at church looking for me. He was always there to make sure that I was doing the right thing. And he was always there to help my mom out, uh, regardless of what trouble I got into. And it was their persistence that really allowed me to overcome my own ignorance. And, and let's just face it, though, as kids, 12 years old or whatever, we're always looking for excuses to do something in your life. And uh, it's, it's always good to have people out there to save you from yourself. In that book, you'll see I had a lot of people out there to save me from myself. Thank you so much for taking you're welcome, Jan. This is very interesting. I haven't been interviewed in a long time. Thank you very much. Thank you. And for everybody that's watching, you can go to Amazon.com and you can also go to EversonWalls.com and pick up a gift for you. Thank you.